Okay, you're now in step two of Heaven's five step success formula. Step two is that you changed your mind. So let's look at some things that you need to change your mind about. Remember, we looked at the Bible. The Wall Street Journal told us it's the best selling book of all time. The Bible declares itself as being the inspired Word of God, that God moved men to write this holy book, 66 books, all kinds of amazing facts around the Bible, all telling one cohesive story. Some people say, well, man makes mistakes, so therefore the Bible uh, is a book of mistakes because man makes mistakes. Well, can you write your name without spelling it wrongly? So. Just because man makes mistakes doesn't mean that he has to make those mistakes. And certainly, God is the creator of man. He can use uh, his creation to accomplish his purposes. He's doing it right now in this course as he's using me. So uh, don't fall for the hype about the Bible and all of these doubters and skeptics. God's able to create the heavens and the earth if you believe in God and a sovereign God. Or even if you don't, I'm here to tell you that the Bible's his word. Jesus backed it up and said that thy word is truth in John 17, 17. So take my word for it. Uh, if you want to go along the right path, if not, if you need to look into it more, many people, many skeptics have looked into it and been convinced by the amazing proof. So change your mind about the Bible. If you don't believe that the Bible is the word of God, that's part of this step two. Change your mind. Uh, don't have a negative outlook on the Bible. The Bible's a mirror as we discussed, and it's there for your benefit. So here in Acts, uh, for example, chapter three, verse 19, God tells us uh, through his word, using men to write his word, Repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. God's using his creation to write his word, to speak his word, to preach his word. And to repent means simply to change your mind. Like I talked about earlier, change the channel. Just change your mind about something. Have you ever done anything that was wrong or you, you had a wrong assessment on it? And you go, oh, I was wrong about that. Change your mind. So... Regarding the Bible, change your mind. Now, here's a big one, too. Righteousness. On Judgment Day, you need to be right with God. You need to be right with God now, which will allow you to be right with God on Judgment Day. God intends for you to be right with Him while you're here on earth, before you die. The only way you'll be right for heaven is if you're right now. So, righteousness is the word, which means to be right with God. It's also used interchangeably with just, the just shall live by faith, the righteous shall live by faith. But here's the deal about righteousness. You've got the Ten Commandments here, and you're like, what's the pooch doing on the bed? I'm not really sure about that. Well, in short, you're guilty. I've been guilty of breaking God's law, right? If you've ever lied once in your life, you're guilty. Here's the Ten Commandments. So there's a mirror for you. And they were never intended for you to keep. They're there to show you that you're a sinner and you need a savior because God's a good judge. And one day, judgment day, he will judge all unrighteousness by the man who he has appointed and he's proven such by raising him from the dead. So you can be sure that Jesus, while the savior now who is here to save you today and at this moment, that he will come back. All authority and judgment's been given to Jesus by the Father, Jesus said. He also said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. We'll look at that. Um, and right now, the concern is that you get right. The pooch on the bed is to show you, look how he's resting on the bed, he or she. I'm not sure what kind of dog that is. Um, but... You know, that dog is resting its full weight on that bed. And this is what you need to do with Jesus, like a parachute. If you put your trust in a parachute when you jump out of a plane, if you ever had to, or if you ever have, you put your trust in that. Just like this dog is putting his full weight on the bed, you put your full weight in that parachute. 
you cannot be good enough to get to heaven. So you need to transfer that trust. And in order to be right with God, this is about righteousness and changing your mind. Step two is about changing your mind. So if you thought to this point that you could earn God's favor by doing good deeds or living a good enough life to get to heaven, you cannot. That is the, the truth. Any who reject that will not have success regarding heaven. They won't end up in heaven because God created this whole thing. And in order to be just or righteous with God, you need to put your full weight on Jesus, which is what I'm encouraging you to do in this course. It's placing your faith or your trust in Jesus. So this is all good news. And use this example here of the dog resting on the bed that you want to rest all of your hope in jesus because he's the only one who can save you from your breaking god's law blood must be shed we're going to look at here shortly for your sins to be atoned for so the exhortation here again is to repent which means to change your mind. Change your mind about how much weight. If your weight is currently on yourself and you're like, I'm just going to get to heaven because I'm a good person, please abandon that thinking. Change your mind and realize, my goodness, I need Jesus because he's perfect and he's the perfect sacrifice and he died for me in my place. Okay, so the Bible will teach you about that and we're going to go through more of that in this course but as we're looking at step two and what you need to change your mind about we talked about the bible changing your mind about that about righteousness that you do not want your righteousness because you don't have any kind of righteousness when it comes to a holy god you've broken his law time and time and time again and the penalty for breaking his law is death eternal death so this is why Jesus came and it's good news. Here, I want you to consider changing your mind about who Jesus is. Let's look at something that Jesus said here. Uh, in scripture, Gospel of John, therefore the Jews were grumbling about him being Jesus because he, Jesus said, I am the bread that came down out of heaven. They were saying, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does he now say, I have come down from heaven? So they weren't believing in him, but he actually did come down from heaven. He said, I'm the bread of life. I came down from heaven. What else did Jesus say? Well, when they were saying that he, a mere man, claimed to be God, he apparently was saying, I'm God. He said, I'm the bread of life. He said it many times and in many ways. So here's one of them. So if you didn't think that Jesus was God in the flesh, just need to change your mind about that. Step two, change your mind. Here's Jesus, another quote from Jesus, whoever has seen me, referring to himself, he said, you've seen the Father. In another part of the Bible, he says, if you don't believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So Jesus was not shy. He was very forthcoming with who he was. And these are things that you need to consider and decide, am I going to change my mind about this or am I not? Because what I just recited to you about believing who he is, you don't want to die in your sins, right? We're not here to talk about you dying in your sins. That's not good news. That's not the way to heaven. So understand what Jesus has said about himself and embrace it as fact because he's given us a lot of evidence to look at regarding who he is. What else did he say? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, before Abraham was even born, I am. Wow, that's like the ever living eternal God kind of statement there. And, and he's qualified to say it because he left an empty tomb behind. You probably know by now, we celebrate, many people celebrate Easter based upon the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So here's some quotes for you to lock on to regarding, do I actually believe that Jesus is God? Because he's only left you a few options. He's either a liar because he claimed to be God and he's not. He's a lunatic because who says they're God when they're not? 
or he actually is Lord and you fall at his feet and worship him as your creator and your savior. So I would uh, advise option three is obviously the way to go here. And that's how you're going to crush it with Christianity and make it to heaven. The exhortation again, if you haven't thought this way, change your mind. So that was just a quick look at some things that you need to change your mind about. So what are we going to discuss next? Let's talk about step three, that you stopped gambling with your soul. Want to make sure that you're not gambling with your soul? Let's talk about that in the next module. I will catch you there.